Now here we are on Paddy's Day 2022 and our whole two weeks of lambing so far has been totally absorbing. Barbara has taken off uh, three weeks of work for its leave to help lambing. So as you can see we're fairly washed out by the halfway stage. There's about 50 sheep lambed and probably about a hundred lambs or thereabouts and uh, it's very time consuming draining all consuming and we haven't even got time to think about what's going on in the world of russia invading places and uh, it's a crazy crazy world but it brings to mind the old hymn to me anyway it does uh, I am not skilled to understand what God has willed or what God has planned. I only know that at his right hand is one who is my saviour. And we can see from our beliefs in this little country, Ireland, that uh, from the Bible, that these things are to come to pass, but it's hard to understand. But anyway, I'm going to take you a little bit of drone footage here and there round the garden because we've been so absorbed in lambing that we didn't get looking at the lovely snowdrops coming, or I didn't <laughs> get, I don't know if you did or not, man. Uh, we're looking at the snowdrops and the daffodils and the camellias and the crows building and life is going on regardless. So, but anyway, that'll be a little reflective look over just what we haven't had time to enjoy and see and experience. And I might get the chance to go to a shop and buy a new coat. Clive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're getting a few comments on our dress here, but the dress code goes totally out the window. Four grave a crows sitting on the wall. Four grave a crows sitting on the wall. Four grave a crows sitting on the wall on the cold and frosty morning. I will the first grave a crow. He took a flew away. The first grave a crow. He took a flew away. First grave a crow. Took a flew away on the cold and frosty morning. And the second grave of crap, he fell and brought his jaw. The ja. second grave of crap, fell and brought his jaw. Now, there's one sure thing, and it is that it's never easy getting out of bed, no matter what time of the day or night it is. But it just happens to have turned three o'clock on Thursday morning. And there's somebody shouting for me here, needing a bit of attention. And it's still hard to get up, even though you're lying out here. And it's to feel like minus one or something tonight. But there you are, it's very nice. I'll just put the electric blanket up another neck. 
And I'm just getting back in again. Lying in bed, my wife, she said, I'd love to hear the patter of tiny feet. To my surprise, as I looked in her eyes, she said, I'm gonna buy some sheep. Sheep, I said, sheep, she said, gonna buy some sheep. Well, the very next day, we were on our way to Ballymena Mart. Well, there's a nice wee pen, she said, one nine or ten. Sure, that would be a real good start. So I slipped in through the gate. Way behind you, way behind you. That pen, a pregnant Come on, girls, come on, come on, come on. Lay down, Jay. Lay down. I got talking to a man for Ballyclare Tunlan. He had a flock of cleanse. Guaranteed in lamb. He had the. Come on, girls, come on. Come on in. Single and one. At the setting of the sun, the deal had been done. And he had bought those sheep. Was this the end? <laughs> no, my friend. That was just the start. It's dosing and dagging, clipping and tagging, rattling, teasing, tapping, flushing and sponging, scanning and lambing, shedding, bedding, redding, spot inspections, cross infections, fly strike, ticks and bots. Vets bills, feed bills, fertilizer and seed bills, steeples, sheep wire and posts. Lying in bed, my wife, she said, 